your energy forecast for Saturday, May 18th. Okay, so we have a pretty big day on our hands because we have some very important conjunctions taking place. And of course, conjunctions mean reset, restart, new chapter. There's endings, there's beginnings. And of course, because of the planets that are interacting, Venus and Uranus, and then the Sun and Jupiter, we are definitely looking to expand our heart space, expand our passion, our desires. We're willing to take risks, especially where love and affections are concerned. We are looking to get a little bit lucky, not only in love, but with money and overall in life. And this is definitely going to infuse us with a new mood, with a new attitude, really push this new change of heart out into the world. We are definitely going to be feeling a new energy take over. So that is pretty exciting, especially considering as we are wrapping up Taurus season, as we are anticipating an acceleration of time, energy, and circumstance once we move into Gemini season, just days away. So... We have the moon in Virgo, going void, of course, 5, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're locking into Libra energy, 6, 24 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. The shift from Virgo energy to Libra energy is always welcome because things get a little bit heavy. We get a little bit tunnel vision in that Virgo energy. Of course, the whole point was identifying the problems in order for us to fix them. The Libra energy being an air energy, things are a little bit more light and fluffy, a little bit more playful, a little bit more social, if you will. We are looking to rebalance the scales. The Virgo energy has us processing and reevaluating what needs to stay, what needs to go. Go. The Libra energy has us taking what is left over and now finding peace and harmony and balance within our emotions and our thoughts and, of course, our overall physical realm circumstances. So I just also want to say that I think it's very interesting that the moon shifts into the Libra energy and then we have both conjunctions taking place. I think that's an interesting fact because, again, if these conjunctions were taking place under the moon being in Virgo. It would be more analytical. It would be more hyper-focused on the smaller details. There's a lot of reservation there. We are a little bit limited with our affections. I think it's interesting because once the moon moves into Libra energy, again, we're lighter, we're brighter, we're more open, we're looking for peace and harmony and compromise. And of course, Venus, who rules over that Libra energy, is on the main stage with one of those conjunctions here today. And so it's kind of all working together. It feels like a new, let's call it foundation and structure of realizing our wants, needs, and desires are coming into play. And of course, with the sun and Jupiter making their conjunction, we are definitely going to be infused with a new mood and a new attitude to push ourselves forward. So with all of that being said, there are 10 different aspects taking place here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon, while still in this Virgo energy, going to make a positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane. In this Taurus energy, we have the tunnel vision goggles on. We are a little bit more kind of concerned with logical, practical matters, if you will. This is Earth on Earth energies, which means that emotionally and mentally speaking, we are coming back down to Earth. Again, using the lens of logic and practicality to take a good look at the life in which we've created and whittle out, if you will, what needs to stay, what needs to go. The moon being our heart space, Mercury being our head space, we're on the same page. We are getting in the same zone, if you will, on recognizing what needs to change in the physical form in order for us to actually move forward and be living in a realm of reality that not only looks good, but that feels good as well. We're trying to get in alignment with our inner vision. The moon is then going to trine the sun, of course, in Taurus energy, again, earth on earth action. The moon and the sun, whenever they come together, there is a new emotional awareness, a new aha moment. There's a new realization of what we want, what we need, what we desire, what we have to do, what we have to kind of pursue in order to fulfill the want, needs, and desires for us to actually move on and move forward. Of course, 
this is earth on earth action. So we are very logical, very practical, very grounded, very angered, very rooted in this present moment. We're not kind of lost in imaginary land. We're not spending our time in our inner realm, creating a fantasy world that we can't bring to life. Instead, we are very aware of our physical form, what is possible for us, where the changes need to be made. And this aha moment is going to propel us in a new direction. The moon is then going to trine Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, wisdom, knowledge. And in this Taurus energy, again, nearing the final degrees of this Taurus energy, we are wrapping up a year cycle. Jupiter has been in this Taurus energy, very low, slow, steady pace to making some changes in our physical realm that, of course, needed to start with the inner realm. We've been building in our self-worth, in our self love. We have really recognized where it is that bossing up in the way that we feel about ourselves puts us in a different disposition in our physical realms to want, need, and desire different things from different people. Again, when we elevate ourselves, when we do the work within ourselves, that means that the relationship dynamics that we were pouring into have to change. The boundaries need to change. Jupiter, because he's about options and opportunities and pushing us out of our comfort zone in order to create something new, especially in the physical realm of Taurus energy, we are definitely seeing some optimism, some confidence, some encouragement. We're seeing some aha moments actually take form. We are building ourselves up emotionally to actually get to an action point to take those actions and make those moves to rearrange, restructure, redesign our physical realm, what it looks like and what it feels like. So the moon is going to come into a direct opposition with Neptune, who's in his place of power in this Pisces energy. Again, the latter degrees of this Pisces energy, which means that the moon is at the latter degrees of this Virgo energy. Virgo energy, Pisces energy sits across from each other in the zodiac wheel. They represent the axis of healing. The Virgo energy is focused on the physical body, the mental plane. The Pisces energy is focused on the emotional realm and the spiritual realm, our soul self. And so an opposition never feels good. We're at a choice point. We're understanding right now where we have to balance out our logical, practical realizations, wants, needs, and desires with our emotional and spiritual calling that, of course, is pushing us in a different path to pursue new goals, new dreams, new visions that are definitely in alignment with our higher selves. This opposition could definitely trigger a lot of confusion even semi-delusion in order for us to find a balance point between what is real, what is here, what is now, and what could be, what is creative energy, what is fantasy energy that we are using within ourselves to really capture a new goal, new vision, new dream that our higher self wants us to pursue and logically and practically through the Virgo energy, trying to come up with a path, a plan, a strategy on how it is that we're going to bring some of these aspects to life. This is at 5, 10 a.m. This is the last aspect that the moon is going to make before going void. Of course, we move into that void. Things get shaky. Things get uncertain. Things get unstable. 6.24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The moon is shifting into Libra energy. So the moon being in Libra energy, of course, the whole point of this particular transit is to find peace and harmony and balance not only within ourselves, between our heart and our head, but in our physical realm, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. But that means that over the course of the next couple of days with the moon moving through all the degrees of Libra and energy, we may become illuminated to where there is in balance, where there is in peace, where there is in harmony in ourselves and in our physical realms. We have to examine the areas of our life that we're living in extremes that are a little bit crazy, a little bit chaotic. We have to examine where the scales of life are out of whack in order for us to bring them into balance. And so again, light and fluffy energy. Again, we're willing to kind of, you know, meet in the middle and compromise, especially in our relationship dynamics. Overall, we are just kind of looking for a little bit more stability than what it is that we had been living in. 7.40 a.m., we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in her rulership in Taurus energy. 
coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with Uranus, the Great Awakener, also in this Taurus energy. So first of all, Venus in her rulership over Taurus season, in her rulership in Taurus energy, she also rules over the Libra energy that the moon is now in. And so first of all, we have to understand that Uranus has a lot of, I'm going to say, electricity. There's a lot of oomph. There are lightning bolts that just kind of, you know, strike us in the highest form of our intellect. It opens up our mind. It opens up our heart space. It pivots us into a new path, into a new direction. First of all, this is a heart activation. So be prepared for racing heart, for anticipation, for excitement, maybe a little bit of anxiety, depending on where it is that you're at in your energy management. But overall, this particular wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, is going to really push us into realizing what it is that we have to let go of. Again, reminder, Taurus energy is very stubborn. It's a fixed earth sign. We don't typically like to change. And where Venus, of course, has had a change of heart, we've been very stubborn staying in this particular, let's call it closed off box system because we've been resisting making the changes that we know that we have to make in order to detach from some old aspects, some old people, some old circumstances, we've been kind of procrastinating on that. So this particular energy, first of all, is going to just send lightning bolts through all of our physical forms. We are going to have the want, need, and desire to just let things go, okay? Whatever you've been held up on, stuck on, really fixated on, we're going to let it go. This is also putting us in a situation where we're not as, I'm gonna say, conservative with our emotions, with our expression. There is this kind of surge, if you will, where we need to get things off of our chest, where we have to kind of, I'm gonna say, abandon the old way of us truly expressing ourselves to just blurt it out, get it off of our chest, get it out of our body. This is essentially the green light go ahead to make the changes that we have been thinking about, but we haven't put into physical action as of yet. And so we are kind of, I'm gonna say, trying to again, with the moon and Libra, balance the scales between a fixed point of procrastination and an aggressive point of change that we don't really feel well prepared to make as of yet. We're kind of throwing caution to the wind. We are a lot more open. We're a lot more, I'm gonna say, forceful than normal. And we are kind of just abandoning the ways that we would have gone about having certain conversations and just kind of putting it out there. So again, the, the need, the want, the desire to be fully expressive, good, bad, or otherwise, is definitely going to push us in situations and circumstances to get a lot off of our chest, out of our head, out in the open, because this is the initial conversation or the initial energy or the initial action that is needed in order for change to actually start taking place. So the moon in Libra energy is then going to try and beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was retrograde in this Aquarius energy. What I love about this is, first of all, this is air on air action. So there's a lot of intellectualizing. There's a change of mind, a change of perspective, a change of the lens in which we were currently looking at life through. And because of this, there's an emotional change, emotional transformation due to Pluto, of course, because he is the great transformer. Because he's retrograde, we're doing a lot of inner work. We're taking a good look at where it is that we have been in the middle of a power struggle between the old version of self and the new version of self, between the ego self, between the higher self. Of course, that Aquarius energy is helping us to break free from some of the limiting restrictions that we've had either emotionally or mentally in our physical realm. We want to improve. We want to do better. We want to break away from the same old, same old. So this particular interaction is empowering. This interaction is pushing us to see things from a different set of eyes that is going to alleviate a lot of the heaviness, a lot of the weight that we've been carrying in our physical bodies. The moon then makes a very tough interaction with Mercury. So 
Again, our heart space, the moon, Mercury, our head space, they're not on the same page right now. And a lot of that is because the Libra energy is pushing for change, pushing for balance, pushing for compromise. The Taurus energy that Mercury is currently in, again, fixed Earth sign. We're stubborn. We're not even willing to take the tunnel vision goggles off to see what's going on around us. We are just honed in to what it is that we think we need to focus on the most at this particular point in time. This is also going to create a little bit of a, I'm going to say a backpedaling ripple effect, especially considering earlier on in the day between Venus and Uranus, we were kind of uh, putting ourselves out there. We were a little bit more forthcoming with our thoughts, with our feelings, with our ideas, with our opinions. This is a little bit of a backpedaling thing because of course that Libra energy is a people pleasing energy. And just when we are bold and brave and courageous enough to kind of blurt out our thoughts, our feelings, suddenly we're worried that that kind of hurts somebody else's feelings or that we're not going to be well, you know, received or accepted or loved because of it. And so this disconnect between our heart and our head is because uh, emotionally speaking in the Libra energy, we're trying to backpedal in order to smooth things over for everybody to be on the same page, happy, go lucky, light and fluffy. When realistically Mercury in that Taurus energy just wants to stay focused on you know keeping things the same and keeping things the same is a pretty hard thing to do when we've already initiated the ball getting that ball rolling towards a great change especially where you know being open with our thoughts and our feelings are concerned and therefore our heart and our head not on the same page at all now is it going to feel good no is it supposed to absolutely not but it should illuminate where it is that you're not operating in your authentic energy and where it is that you feel the want need and desire to kind of fluff things up and smooth things over because you are worried about how other people are going to see you. So this is a good realization to understand where it is that you're too worried about what other people think and not worried enough about how you think and how you feel. Again, standing in your power. 2.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun in Taurus energy comes up to, bumps into, teams up with Jupiter, also in this Taurus energy. This is our second conjunction of the day. This is a reset of, I'm going to call it the solar energy, infusing Jupiter's little transit towards the end of Taurus energy as we wave goodbye to this Taurus energy and we welcome him into Gemini energy here in a couple of days. But also Jupiter infuses us, our life force energy, because that's what the sun's all about, with a new, let's call it level of luck new level of wisdom, of knowledge, of abundance, um, of knowings, if you will, pieces of the puzzle are starting to snap together in a very interesting way. So first of all, this is kind of triggering, activating this want, need and desire to kind of grow up and to move on. We want to improve. We are tired of the stubbornness. We're tired of the stagnancy. We're tired of ourselves creating the blockages from actually us making some progress and moving on. We want to see the positives. We are in the most positive mood and attitude that we could possibly be in. We are going to be kind of overwhelmed, if you will, with a new vibration, new frequency of happiness, of joy, of faith, of optimism. We are kind of getting renewed, if you will. There's a little bit of a pep in our step, so to speak. And our motivation to actually break out of the confines that we've been operating in is higher and more intense than ever. We are building in the empowerment energy needed in order for us to actually move on. Now, there's a lot of wisdom that's coming in here. So the downloads that we have been receiving that haven't quite made sense as of yet, they're going to start popping off in a big way. And it's also going to put us in a totally different perspective to start seeing the bigger, broader picture on why some of the smaller, not so nice details had to happen in order for us to get at this particular position, in order for us to totally understand that we have been triggered and activated over the last couple of weeks, although last couple of months, and in some cases years, if you want to get technical about it, in order to push us into this version of self. And so this is going to put us in a very good mood and attitude, very good perspective, very good outlook on where it is that guess what? 
The low and slow steady pace that we've been taking for the last year is coming to an end. We have a stronger sense of self. We have a stronger sense of self-worth, of self-love, of self-respect. We have a strong, intense calling to make some great big changes. And now that we've done the work within ourselves, we're ready to take this launching point. We're ready to put it into action. And again, if you've been listening to the Ascension forecast over the last couple of weeks, you would know that we are building towards this testing point where we're essentially getting this new version of self out on the road for the first time and really putting to good use our ability to have this creator force energy now flowing through our bodies, this power, this mood, this attitude to literally co-create the kind of realities that our higher selves want us to be experiencing. So this is a positive mood, a super good attitude, a major change in the energy that again will be a little bit like a domino effect over the next couple of days as we close out this Taurus energy, we move into Gemini energy. So we sit in that for about, I'm going to say five hours ish. We have Mars, the God of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger in his rulership in Aries energy, making a very positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself retrograde in this Aquarius energy. So we have the God of war, the God of the underworld working together so you know that this is going to be a pep in our step this is a new level of motivation determination creative energy that we are now learning to kind of build up cultivate within ourselves harness if you will in order to make a great change a great transformation the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon and libra and energy interacting with uranus who of course just had the conjunction with venus earlier on in the day uranus opens us up to new levels of awareness that's why he's the great awakener he likes to shake us up he likes to disrupt the same old same old in order for us to take on a different view different perspective different mood different attitude especially we're initiating something new is concerned now this particular interaction is definitely going to i'm going to say illuminate the positive outlook forward but also illuminate because again moon and libra the scales need to be balanced also illuminate where there's still some resistance, still some hesitancy, still some concerns. And a lot of those concerns are that we just don't want to rock the boat. We know we have to make a change. We know we're on the precipice of making a major transformation, but it also means that we're going to be accountable and responsible for the changes that need to be made. And essentially, we don't want to be the bad guy in anybody else's story. And again, when you're standing in your truth, when you're standing in your authentic energy and you have to be very clean cut clear and confident about the way you think the way you feel especially where relationship dynamics are concerned you best believe that there may not be a well-received message and so again there's this hesitancy to speak up there's this hesitancy for us to make these changes because again we don't want to be the bad guy in other people's stories this is going to be a very short-lived energy because again over the next couple of days we are really focused on balance and peace and harmony not only finding that within ourselves but within our relationship dynamics as well so again initially the ball is starting to roll but again we're still in a very very thick Taurus energy which means that the ball although rolling is very low very slow very steady but definitely not at the speed that we need in order to see changes take place in the kind of time frame in which we are hoping.